Hey guys, it's Doug from Vicaros, and today we're gonna walk through measuring and applying a bow offset for your Atlas II. This is one of the best ways to get reliable pings and reliable distance to line information. If you're not using a bow offset, you should be. And if you are, let's make sure that you're doing it the right way. So the first step is measuring your bow offset, which is a pretty straightforward concept. The bow offset is the distance from where your device is mounted to the bow of your boat. Pretty simple. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my tape measure and measure from the device to the bow. And for this boat, this VX, it's about a hundred inches. Now that we know that, we can go into our app and we can configure that bow offset so it's ready for use while racing. All right, we've measured our bow offset. It's a hundred inches for this VX. Next thing we're gonna to have to do is input this using the Vicaros Connect app. So first thing I'm gonna do is open up the Connect app and click on the boat profile I want to apply the offset to. In this case, it's 168. So I'll click here, scroll down a bit, and under the racing menu, there's a start line option. I'll click there, and the top toggle for use bow offset, I'll turn on, so the toggle will become orange. Next, I'll input the bow offset. I'm gonna change the units here to inches and apply 100 inches. I'll click done, back out, and save. Now, when I save this bow offset and the Atlas is connected, it's gonna restart. You can see that here, the Atlas is reinitializing. Once the Atlas is reinitialized, you'll be able to verify that that bow offset has been saved by going on your Atlas, clicking the line button, and in the top left, there will be a bow offset figure. In this case, it says 2.5 meter bow, and that assures you that your bow offset has been this is a great way to improve your starting. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions, and we'll see you on the water soon.